So let's assume at this stage you would like to see how your bike could be posed into different positions, maybe for a presentational purpose. There's one very simple approach. As you can see, we started building this bike fork by having the object rotated instead of the mesh. So every time when I reset my rotation for this bike, at least my center cylinder is perfectly vertical to the object axis, where also the bike axis or the wheel axis is. So we can make use of this actually. One option would be that everything in the front we're going to parent to the fork. So that means, for example, the axis, the bolts, the spoke, and the wheel. All this we're going to parent now to the fork. So I shift select the fork. And then I can go to, for example, parent inside object. As you can see, you can also press Control P. And what parent basically means, and I can select parent, all these objects which are orange are now a child to the brighter selected part. So if I select this one, you see everything moves with it. If I select my wheel, which is a child, it can move independently. And you also see that there's, for example, here a dotted line that tells you that there's a relationship. So in shaded mode, if I now select my fork, go into rotation, have location turned on, I can, for example, this way easily rotate, for example, the whole front part by only having to rotate one object and all the other parts follow it. Now, if you would like to undo a parenting, you can go to the object tab, then go to relations. And there we see that it says parent steering six. This is steering six. So I could go to here and simply delete this text, hit enter, and then I'm removing the relationship. So if I take now the fork and move it out, you see, for example, only the axis and the nuts follow it. You can also, as a second way, select two children, select the parent, and then press Alt P that says clear parent and then you can also clear parent and keep transformation and then that is all reset and if I move my fork you see nothing else follows it. This works pretty well however if you uh, have a tread design then of course you also need to select the tread and the tread axis, so the empty and parent it to the fork as well, because it all has to move at once. But for example, for like simple presentation or rendering, then this way uh, you can nicely position the bike into your natural pose and just do a rendering.